Waistcoats are really popular. Green is still trending and so is orange. Orange is really trending this spring and summer. I have some gorgeous spring slash summer fashion to show you today. And I'm focusing more so on fashion for petite ladies. But of course this fashion is for everyone. Satin blouses and skirts have been trending for some time now. I think the blouses make it so easy to elevate any bottom that you're wearing. I paired the lovely crossover mauve satin blouse with a pair of white trousers. They're just a simple straight leg pair of white trousers, but I really think it gives a very chic spring summery look. One of the reasons I love these crossover or wrap blouses so much is they can sit on your waist, which is fantastic when you're petite. You don't have to worry about tucking them in. The other thing I love about a wrap blouse is they're going to suit all body shapes. For another spring evening look, I have an A-line black satin skirt. Now these A-line skirt, and it's not sitting too midi on me, is a great skirt for petite ladies. A-line skirts pretty much suit most body shapes. A-line skirts are particularly favoured for pear-shaped ladies. They're going to skim over their thighs and their hips, but petite ladies look great in A-line skirts as well. All the sage colours and the pistachio greens are trending this season. I think they're beautiful colours, they're soft colours, they're perfect for spring and summer. But teaming up this wrap satin blouse, and I love green and black together. If you like this type of video, please subscribe. I was in the fashion industry for over 35 years. I have a passion for fashion and I want to share that with you. And while you're at it, give me a like. It is so appreciated. This gorgeous Kelly Green, and yes, Kelly Green is still trending. It's a beautiful blouse. It's got smocking here all around the neckline, and it's got the puff sleeves. It's pure silk. It's a beautiful crepe silk. Marks do beautifully classy looking clothing. I've teamed up the beautiful Kelly Green blouse with a pair of bootleg jeans. The bootleg jeans are high rise. Once again, high rise is great for petites. From the company Forever New, Forever New is a very popular retail fashion store in Australia. So everything in there is not predominantly for younger women because they do have lots of lovely classic styles as well. The thing about boot cut jeans, they will make everyone look taller. They are the one jean. If you're going to choose one pair of jean that you know is going to make you look taller and generally slimmer, I would choose boot cut and that goes for pants as well. And this time I tried a bit of color blocking by putting the navy crop blazer over the top. I'm wearing a pointed toe neutral sling back with a heel that's probably, oh, it might be two inches just. Now the thing is with the pointed toe, it's going to elongate your legs as well. Any shoe that's pointed is going to make you look taller. And that applies to neutral colored shoes as well. A lovely crisp, fine cotton crossover or a wrap blouse. This time we've got a puffy sleeve. It's a three quarter puffy sleeve. This sort of blouse you're going to get a lot of wear out of and I've teamed it up with a pair of wide leg dark wash jeans. These particular wide leg jeans I think are a fantastic fit. I love the dark wash. They're from a label called A Brand. They're $120. This is from the iconic, the Australian online fashion store. I find these so incredibly comfortable. They do have a bit of stretch in them, which I find really helpful, but not too much stretch. For petite ladies, the wide leg jean is going to work, but just make sure they're not too wide leg. And the other thing I would say is make sure the denim is not too stiff and not too thick. And I think having a stretch in it, like the A brand pair, does, I think it's a little bit helpful as well by having the fabric a little bit more softer. Over the wide leg jeans and the lovely white wrap blouse, I've added in this collarless cropped navy blazer from Forecast. For a timeless black and white look, I've got the lovely crossover white blouse with the A-line black satin skirt and I've teamed them up with a pair of Chanel looking sling bags. I've also added in a neutral colored bag. The black and white with the neutral tones for the accessories really is an elegant look. It's going to suit lots of different ladies and your lifestyle. These really lovely classic looking straight leg pants, they have the side pockets on them, they're high waisted. I wear most of my pants high waisted and they are best for petite women, high waisted trousers. What I love about these is the colour, they're a really light pistachio colour and I've teamed them up with a lovely satin blouse of a similar shade so I've got a monochromatic look happening. 
any time a petite woman dresses monochromatically which is basically head to toe in the same color tone you're going to look taller it's one of the easiest ways to make yourself look taller and i think it's one of the easiest ways to dress i love monochromatic dressing because if you have all your colors in the same color palette you're going to always have clothes that go back with each other yes and the ever popular shirt dress they're so incredibly popular in spring and summer and i think one of the most popular is this blue and white striped look striped lightweight shirt dress like this is the kind of dress you'd pack if you're going on a vacation it's a classic look and it's so easy for most women to wear and it's absolutely beautiful black event dress it's made from a cotton but it's got a sheen through it and i just love all the ruching down the puff sleeves here and it's got a sweetheart neckline you can draw it in further if you want or less and it sits beautifully on the waist it has the most gorgeous flared skirt and because it's maxi it's going to make me look longer and i'll put the black strappy heels on nothing too heavy nothing too dominant on my feet because if I had to put a contrasting heavy color with this, it mightn't have made me look so tall. It might have made me look a little bit shorter. I think when you're wearing your black maxis in particular, stick with a black shoe and for evening, a black heel or even a, a small heel. But I think if you're wearing all black, head to toe, you can't help but look taller and slimmer. Absolutely loving this mauve dress for spring or summer. I really like the tulip hemline on this dress. The tulip hemline is a hemline that crosses over and is curved on the bottom. It's sitting in the right place for a lady that's petite. It's not too long. It's just below the knee. I really like the ruching on the waist as well. It's giving it waist definition. It has a high crew neckline. I think it's a classy little number. It's most of us have a need for a non-fussy event dress in spring and summer. I think we always need one or two in our wardrobe. Really gorgeous linen orange blouse because orange is trending for a color this season. I really love this one because it has the white buttons down the front. And I think the contrast is just beautiful with the white and the orange. And it's not oversized, which I really love. I think orange looks so dynamic with black. So I've teamed it up with this cropped forecast the label is forecast black three-quarter sleeve collarless blazer i really love this yellow peasant slightly boho blouse it's made from the most beautiful fabric it's a cotton fabric it's like a broderie anglaise but it's more than that it's got applique all over it August is a really popular boho label in Australia. It's actually designed in my town. It was created in my town and designed here. We have several famous boho labels that are. I love the yellow with the navy dark wash wide leg jeans and I've kept the Chanel shoes on once again, the Chanel sling back because I think it really gives it more of a classy look. I'm not looking boho at all, even though it's a peasant slightly boho blouse. I love the way you can do that. You can mix your boho styles in with your trending styles and your more classic styles. And another chic look that always looks stylish is wearing a stripe. And this time it's navy and white stripe with a white background, which is really lovely and fresh for spring and summer. A striped cardigan or a striped top. Of course, you can do black and white and other color stripes. I just think the navy and white is so fresh and so European looking for spring and summer. And for the white and navy stripe, top i've added in this crop white blazer this is from forecast in australia i've shown you quite a bit of forecast i'm loving these crop blazers for petite ladies they're definitely going to give you a taller look we don't have to worry about where they're ending are they ending in the wrong part because they're just ending on the waist and back to satin and keeping it all white i've added in this gorgeous little satin blouse with the flutter sleeves and I've accessorized it with a bright orange bag because orange is trending this season. But I think that's a really fresh look, all white with a pop of orange. And sometimes that pop of color with white really lifts the whole outfit. And I'm very fond of this look. It's a very simple look to achieve. These Chanel look jackets really can elevate an outfit, a pair of jeans or a basic pair of trousers. 
I've got a basic pair of straight leg jeans on. I've got a pretty basic straight mauve knit top. But putting the Chanel jacket over the top and putting a slight heel with my navy strappy kitten heel shoes, this way you can elevate an outfit in a really simple way where you could go out to a luncheon or look like you're dressed for some daytime event if you like, or just dress up. If you're in the mood, just look a little bit more dressy than you usually do. Here I'm wearing a really lovely monochromatic fresh looking outfit with a linen sage green peasant blouse and green light coloured pants. Waistcoats or vests as we call them here have been trending for several seasons. I don't see them going away. In fact, I think they're gaining popularity and I love this soft sage colour once again for spring and summer. Mostly I'm seeing these waistcoats worn with sleeveless without anything underneath them. But of course you can wear a t-shirt underneath your waistcoat if you choose to. And I often see them worn in cohorts as well, sets, but they look just as fabulous with a pair of jeans. This is a really lovely knitted tank and it's got a really lovely texture through the knit. And these are great sometimes to get textured knits because they do look more expensive when you get a lovely textured knit like this. Because it's a cotton knit and it's a little bit casual, but it can be smart casual. I've got it on with jeans and I've put on a khaki denim jacket over it because khaki is really trending this season. It's probably one of the most popular colors at the moment. You call it army green if you like, we say khaki here. The lovely crocheted look v-neck crop cotton top. It's not really a sweater. Unfortunately, the sleeves are too long on me. They're a bell sleeve and they came too long, but I rolled them up and I think it looks really nice with this satin khaki. Once again, khaki is trending as satin khaki midi skirt. I think the crochet v-neck top also looks really nice with these shell pink trousers. Now they are too long. The pants are too long for me unfortunately but I think you get the idea. A white cotton shirt is a very popular wardrobe essential for any season. My recommendation for petite ladies but particularly if you're petite and you're small busted or you're small framed up the top or pear shaped like I am that you get yourself a fitted shirt other than an oversized shirt or relaxed shirt now don't get me wrong i really like relaxed shirts as well but i think that if you are petite and you're also small framed i think the fitted shirt sometimes that cinches in at the waist is a little bit more flattering this fitted shirt and this is the way it goes with most fitted shirts is they have darts at the back like here and sometimes they do have the darts in the front, but more commonly in the back. And what that does is it cinches the waist in and it makes it more fitted. But with this shirt, I really like the way they cover the buttons here with this little flap over the front. So you don't actually see the buttons. I think that's quite a modern look. And of course, being petite, if you can, and if you like that look, I would suggest tucking your blouse because it's going to make you look definitely taller. I've teamed up my white fitted shirt with my dark wash straight leg jeans and I've added back in my collarless three quarter sleeve navy blazer. I often show you forecasts. So this collarless cropped blazer is, well, the crop part is great for petite ladies, but being collarless, they're really great for wearing with shirts, with collars. As you can see, the collar's gonna sit over the neckline of the blazer nicely.